Hello everybody, welcome to Season 51, first round match between uh, Mongloom and his Kemri and Misa and his Chaos. Oh my god, so the Blitz, unbelievable. In the booth with me is Faimir, hello! Hello everybody, oh my god, that Blitz. Anyway, let's uh, dedicate this game to our viewers in... Djibouti, which I think is the second time Djibouti appears here. If not, I'm sorry for Djibouti <laughs> citizens. With the national flower is the cat, and the national dish is the Scudacaris. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure that I'm murdering the names of these things. So if <laughs> any viewer or anyone knows how to pronounce Coralie or what they are, uh, please leave a comment on the YouTube comment section. <laughs> And if you are the Monaco lady from the past game, you know, you can also leave a comment in this video too. <laughs> there you go. Um, right, so this is a weird one, right? Because Mongolian's team looks pretty decent, right? He's got a mighty blow guard, mighty blow block guard. God, my ease. He's got some pretty decent stuff. And then Monglu, uh, yeah, and then Missa, is only got 11 men. And he's like, hasn't got piling on. It's like, his team seems pretty garbage. So it's interesting. But, you know, he can still win if he gets claw mighty fires. Um, and he's got a strength warrior, which is good. Oh, Davis Carls. That's, that's pretty great, crazy, isn't it? Monaco. Well, Monaco is one of these uh, fake countries, you know, these tiny countries created by the bigger countries just to evade taxes. Mm. <laughs> Liechtenstein, <laughs> Luxembourg, Gibraltar, the Channel Islands, the Monaco, all these ones, you know, more or less have survived for centuries, Andorra, because of that. Yeah. There is no point in invading them when it's much better, you know, having them to hide your stuff there. <laughs> Which, I'm not saying everybody in those countries do that, but come on, guys. Come on. <laughs> come on. Nope. Oh, first cast of the game. There you go. If you roll like that, that makes up for your team being a bit shit. And it sticks. Fail regen. Nice dodge out, and another one for rolling all the dice. Not that one though. <laughs> hey, Mazen! No, Gibraltar was important, wasn't it? At one point, like you know, with boats and stuff. It was yes, it's yes, still good. very important. I know that. I've been in Gibraltar, uh, Mars. I've been in Gibraltar. I used to work for a poker school in Gibraltar. And I visited them, so I saw Gibraltar in all its glory. <laughs> it's a very funny place. But the, the, the way they speak there, they mix between Spanish and English and all that is hilarious. <laughs> oh, going for ball carrier. Interesting. I would thought you I know I thought you'd have tried to like seal the edge and go for the uh the skillless guy. But that's pretty cool, uh, you know, aiming to high roll getting out the ball carrier there. Coming is for nerds. Yeah. Guys, cage in the loner. Yeah, yeah. The ball carrier stood next to the cage. It's caging the loner. It's pretty funny. <laughs> like, wait, wait, wait a second, guys. He's right. <laughs> Here we go. Gets a two D block to me. Yeah, the Toomeys are really nice, aren't they? But not so nice if they're off the pitch. And now already it's going tits up for... Mongolia. Okay, this is uh, one of these days when Chromighty does all the job. Hmm. It can do that, can't it? Not, not very likely that it does the job. That's the thing, isn't it? Like, piling on makes it super reliable. And still, still doesn't always work. But Claw Might is very variable. There's days where it runs yes. through teams and days when it does nothing. I mean, the, the pylon 
Probably he, he wouldn't be piling on anyway because there is a dirty player around, so he will, should be very careful yeah. with that. But yeah, uh, Munglum needs to get some results here, needs to you know, get rid of some uh, Beastmen or anything because Camry is not a team to play where you are uh, with the less players than your opponent. True, yeah, I think. As shit as a gym foul is here, and like this is a terrible player to foul, it might be worth sticking in the foul just because you need some traction here. Yeah. Good shout. He's got a four forward, so at least he you know, at least he should be getting in at one one, but I mean losing two one isn't a good thing to aim for, is it? <laughs> yeah, you have to be thinking the big picture. Oh, going for the Chaos Warrior there. Mm -hmm. Probably now is the Kenry team is uh, divided there is Two of the best players are gonna get the hit. I'm guessing. Yes, there you go. Yeah, that's really great because you you get the hit in. I would have actually moved this guy first. Um, and then like if you'd moved this guy, you could have then moved all three of these first, yeah. and then just have one guy holding two toomies, and then you've got like complete glorious team split then. Yeah, we can do it. Okay, that that Chaos Warrior there, oof, going for the one, that's... I don't think that the Chaos Warrior should be there. No, no, I, but then once once you've, once you've you haven't moved him first, like, if this warrior was back, like, imagine how much better it is if this warrior's over here, and this yeah. warrior's up there, and then he's, he could block one free and then move the other one around, but really hard to get back. Oh, my God. The Dublé Skulls. Will that scare him into scoring? Nope. I wasn't in range without a GFI anyway, so. Gets the big pow. And then dodge and one D. It's probably the play. Wow, does nothing. Oh, terrible lights for uh, Munglum here. I think the turn 8 stall is uh, not going to happen. No. Oh, lovely one. Lovely one, though. But yeah, you know, he could have had three more players. Like, as it happened, those two didn't knock down this guy, so he could have had three more players back over here. It would have been huge, but not to be. But you know, it's still not looking good for Mister, is it? It's looking tricky. Maybe leaving a bit of a reverse on here. He shut down the score so well that it's like I mean, not much but to go back. No, I guess uh, maybe he's just gonna want. I think he's going to go with the Tomb Guardian with the Blitz. I know. No, because he, he he's got he's got to like one D if he wants to score. But I guess it's just a one D. It's two plus. I guess it's not actually as good as I thought it was. But first glance. So he's scoring. I think it was better to blitz up and then, you know, cage back up around here. Oh, it was 2D. Was there a guard there? Oh, there's a guard there. Oh, it's really easy though. Mm, I don't know. I think he probably should have. I would have wanted to go back a bit there, but at least this way, at least you definitely score. Like, it's it's better than getting turned over and scoring. And the Kemri are pretty with, good on defense. Yeah, and also the, the problem with, you know, running back with Kemri. Yeah. <laughs> Like maybe you never come come back up again. Yes, yeah, like Henry are pretty shocking on offense. So getting a score at all is pretty decent. And they are yes, really good on defense, so 
is giving four turns to the uh, chaos, but given the circumstances. Yeah. Okay, maybe uh, the problem is the, the Camry doesn't have any players. Yeah, only nine players. Not ten. Ten. Then but having the three toon guardians in the LOS versus Chaos. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't uh, I don't like having the three two mids in the LOS because Chaos is gonna get two dice on each one of them. Yeah. Yeah, it seems a waste if you ask me. Yeah, so just put the skeletons there, get the two dice anyway. Correct. And also that's gonna be the Tomb Guardians uh, tied for the rest of the half. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. I don't like it. Because, like, if you if you spread them, like, if you spread them, like, you know, if you put them as these three being the warriors, okay, one one gets picked off by the claw mighty, and then and then that can, that's bad too. Like, so it's not really not none of it's really good. But then at least like you've got a problem in different places. Oh, there you go. One gets picked off by the claw mighty anyway. Regen works. But see, that should have been uh, one of the skeleton, or one of the, or just one tomb garden. The other two are gonna get hit too. Yeah, it's a blitz though. So like, you know, do you have them? Like, it's really hard to protect them against the blitz. Oh my god! But then Jesus. this one is because he was on the LOS. Yeah, Jesus, and this huge. one is sticks. Yeah, that's huge. Absolutely huge. But oh yeah. my god, an armor break in the third one. Jesus. <laughs> okay, that's that's nearly maximum punishment. <laughs> yeah. But you know, kind of justified, isn't it? Like you know, like Yeah, I mean you can put the two mids there, you know, versus a strong four teams. They're gonna get the two dice. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. That's correct, and he was wrecked. <laughs> oh. Looking real bad now. Oh. I mean, no need for a uh, claw there in the second one. Eh? Just roll the dice. Mm. Yeah, fancy undead. It's all going to look so bad. The Camry team's pretty good. The skeleton team isn't very good. <laughs> but he does have a long way to go still. One, two, three, four, five, six. He might GFI handoff um, on this turn. Or maybe just handoff to this one. Yeah. I quite like handing off to the Claw Mighty here, honestly. GFI handoff to the Claw Mighty. And then the claw mighty can blitz, and then because he, he's on 70, 70 now, right? So if he scores a touchdown and makes two more cars, <laughs> you can level him. Hopeful uh, thinking here by Jimmy uh, Fantastic, but could happen, could happen. Oh, I know the one gone. Mm -hmm. Jesus. Didn't regen either. Oh my god. Well, I'm not going to say it's over, but I'm going to say that it seems to be it's going to be a very quick second half. Yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty fucking grim for the Camry, yeah. Really, really bad for the Camry. Yeah, he, had, he made himself GFI by not tagging him. Oh my god, he's doing another one. So he's just going to score on the ball, Gary. Oh, he's on 30. So, yeah, that makes sense, to be fair. To be fair... There is a normal guy that's with the two heads. No. Yeah. GFI fails. This could be a... A one in nine. Oh, versus oh. Mighty Ball. <laughs> At least survive. Yeah. So you can power him, and then the Claw Mighty can come in and hit it. 
him or him. Oh, I guess he hit it too. Oh god, this is Max 3D, lovely. Hi, Max 3D, love to see it. <laughs> Nothing. And 3D here as well. Oh, I don't like this. I don't like that. Because he could have blitzed afterwards, right? This guy could have come up for the assist. And then if you pushed him, he could have made the blitz. Or he could have blitzed this one. Oh, there was another one. That guy loves to fail the DFIs. Yeah. Oh, makes it. Right, now he's in there. Ah, but he was thinking about protecting the ball. What a fucking nerd. <laughs> Honestly, what a nerd protecting the ball. He should have protected the ball by casting the guy who could hit the ball. Oh my, well, he's cast this there guy. There you go, <laughs> another one. And another one that sticks. Yes, regen oh is not working god. today. Oh my god. Absolutely brutal. What a massacre. Comedy giga dicing. It is a little bit, yeah. Yeah, not Monglim's day here. No, 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 no. Oh, but there he goes. Oh, go. well, some revenge there. Yeah, alone though, so. No tears from Missa. And here's a, another claw mighty hit on a Toomey. Not from this time. And a 3D. Make it 3D if you can, yes. It's nice to see, honestly, we see so many games where people don't max 3Ds, but uh, Missa has really been maxing 3Ds. Lovely to see. Yep. Obviously, it helps it's remove loads of people, but still, you know, like other people do that and don't max 3Ds, so it is good. It is good to max 3Ds. Exactly, maximize your chances of not only getting a cast, of avoiding the turnover. Yeah. That's when rolling more dice is good. If there are block dice and there are white, the more the better. Yep. So now we're down to <laughs> eight wow. players for the Camry. And they're in defense and... Yeah. More claw mighty, probably a foul. It looks very, very green for the Camry here. Yep, really, really bad. So the funny thing with the K, you know, it's not only that it's bad, but I always feel like Regen works less with the Tomb Guardians because they have the K. Hmm. You always get that impression that it works less times. Maybe, I wouldn't be surprised. <laughs> There's nothing to do, you know, but, but the fact that they get two casts every time. I literally wouldn't be surprised if, if, if they've miscoded it. Like, it does seem, doesn't it, you know, with the uh, the bombs, right? Like, and I know, yeah. obviously, bombs are more likely to have somebody intercept them than, than like, a normal throw. Like, very rarely do you get intercepting chances. But it, it really does seem bugged, the, uh, the bomb intercepts. And like the thing is a cyanide, you wouldn't put it past them fucking it up, would you? It's been so many years since the launch of the game that it was. It's not a bug anymore. If it is there, it's a feature of the game. <laughs> yeah, it's a feature. No, I would not. Have, I would never put Timmy's on the line versus this team. But you know, it is what it is. You know, if you think that you, that's how you win, right, by high rolling and stuff. If the two guardians at least have a stand firm, you could make a point that they're gonna be able to hold the whole uh, line, you know, just by being there. Yeah. But in this situation, oh, well, now uh, rolling double skulls, you know. Yeah, I mean, the, but by now it's kind of too late, right? Now, now with, with eight players, it's pretty yeah, it's, much. Yeah, it's Kenry with eight players. It's desperate times. I mean, the. the <laughs> <laughs> they don't have that many skills either, so you know, like uh, this is waiting for uh, just the chaos having three turnovers in a row. Yep. Mm, interesting. Interesting. This this is a bit of a shit turn from the chaos. Like I know the dice haven't been great, but I would have really like made a strong push up there. And he hasn't. 
done done what I would have done. Like I hasn't played it how I'd have wanted to play it, but uh, it's not going to matter, is it? And yes, monkey is right. The skeletons have thick skull, and at the end of the day, skeletons are for that. You know, you can uh, put your uh, you know tomb guardians on the line versus a team that is going to get two dice on them guaranteed. Yeah. Versus a yeah. strength three team. Yes, put them there because it's a strength five. You can protect them. Fine. You can, you know, put a lot of pressure. But versus a chaos team or lizards or a uh, nargle or a uh, chores or something or by, you know, something like that. It's like, no, because they're gonna have to. They're gonna find their the two D. And that's it. And yeah. your tomb guardians are gonna be tight for the rest of the half. Yeah. Yeah. No, I didn't like it. Like last drive. Again, it's my opinion. It's my opinion of a guy that the last time played Blood Bowl was like ages ago, but I've seen enough uh, Camry coaches to, you know, uh, see that thing that, yeah, Tomb Guardians are uh, glass cannons, end of the day. Yeah, versus Chaos they are. And, e and even when they're not like mummies, you know, like just a normal undead, like if you lose one, it's so bad. And, you know, it, so just giving away hits against Mighty Blow, like even non Mighty Blow, like nothing's, everything's a bit of a glass cannon in Blood Bowl, isn't it? Like you know, the, the game's so variable that nothing's, yes. even if people don't have Claw Mighty, even just with Mighty, everything's pretty likely to get cast if it gets a hit. Yes, but in the case of the you know the big pieces like Mummies or Tomb Guardians, you know the effect on the team is so massive. Losing yeah, mm. only one of them. Like you know, yeah, human Blitzers, you lose, you have four, you lose one of the Blitzers, it's bad. Mm. But at least you say, ah, the other ones, I have choices, I have options. But with the Tomb Guardians and the Mummies, they are so slow. <laughs> and so, you know, the strong that losing them or not being able to use them even for a couple of times is a disaster. Yeah. 10 plus is a 1 in 6, yeah. Rolling a 10 is a 1 in 12, <laughs> but a uh, 10 plus is 1 in 6, yeah. correct. Does get the move, these guys. You know, I guess his thinking was like the Skellingtons are, are like his more mobile players. So by putting the immobile players on the LOS, then he's got his more responsive players to, to try and defend. But, oh, you know, yeah. was, it yeah. wasn't an easy way of it to be fair. No, at, the, at this time, oh, that was uh, an apple there. Mm. Was really necessary, that apple? It's just a yeah, tackle it's not, piece. It's not what I would have done, I tell you that. Like, this game is almost over. Don't say it's over, but, like, I would definitely be thinking this game was over. Unless he wants to score on him to level him. No, he doesn't, doesn't get a no. level off it. That's really weird. That's really weird. Really weird. Because, like, now the game... Like, I'm thinking the game's over here, right? All these cars. All you can do is just take a Randolph shithead cars from a Tomb Guardian to ruin ruin your day, you know? Like, that's the fucking standard Blood Bowl, isn't it? A stupid fucking yeah. pointless blow. Yeah. The cars is your guy. So, yeah, that was a really weird. Really weird apple. I hate that apple. I've got no different, idea what that sentence means, Mr. Evan. <laughs> uh, different refresh rates. Uh, if they support the uh, 140 Hz, 60 Hz, 120 Hz, 160 yes. They, it does. Because it's not something that they made by uh, Blue Ball 3, it's something made by your screen. Now, if you mean that the FPS are locked at 60 FPS, I don't think so either. So I think you should be fine. Uh, that's a lot of mambo jumbo there, eh, Jimmy? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's so late and the drive's won. Like, the game's over. Like, literally, I would think the game's over here. There's no way I would have appled that because I think I've already won. Yes. Like, I mean, it's like, no problem, nothing like that. But yes, as you say, a piece that is not, like, useful for, the, you know, it has mighty blow and block, that's it. But the tackle is useless. 
Yeah, not what I would have done. But, hey. I mean, you know, you've only got 15 seconds to, to decide to do it, to be fair. And that's just how I'd assess it. That, I mean, that it's over, it like also other gives, might gi think. gives him it's more not. security to the fact that he's going to win because he has more, uh, still players on the pitch. Yeah, yeah. For winning the game, it's 100% the correct move, right? Because it's like, yes. it's, it's, it's the last half. chance you have to impact the game, right? Like, yes. So, yeah, for 100% for this, for match equity, it's 100% the correct apple. But it's it's increasing your equity by such a small amount, like this player for like three turns, four turns, that that's mattering so little that I would take the the cup equity of keeping my apple for like a, a better player. Like, but there you go. You know, who's to say who's right or wrong? That's the thing, isn't it? That's the, that is the thing. He can chain his uh, claw pommer out here. Maybe he's not going to. I knew he was going to do that way. Hmm, it's not, this isn't what I would have done either. Why is the ball there? Yeah, it's interesting, isn't it? And you push. I mean, to be fair, this uh, this this guy that he's appled has has made it so that it's a five-two-two to hit the ball instead of a five to hit the ball. So he's he's paid it a bit. Oh, that's a chaos warrior. Badly hurt. Look at that. Badly hurt. That bullet dodge. You only a one ago. <laughs> now he gets to run the corner, and that's GG. Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? It's funny that that was that was like you know that apple was obviously a hundred percent the correct play to win the game. Like you know, it's yes, giving him a play for four turns guaranteed. There's no doubt it's the best player for winning the game. But I just don't think it was necessary, and I would have kept the apple for you know like I feel like he's already at that stage. He's already say like ninety percent to win, maybe even more, and then that maybe makes it ninety point three. Do you know what I mean? Like it's just yeah, not. Yeah, adding I was a thinking, lot. Yeah, Maybe a 5% more, you know, chances in your favor or something like that. Oh, I don't think it's anywhere near 5% more. Like, that's the thing, you know, like, I, I think it's just, it's adding so little. That That's the thing, like, if it was like, you know, if it was a big player, like if it was the strength 5 warrior, you know, and getting him back for like 5 turns, then yeah, fair enough, you're getting a lot back for the drive, then that probably is making 5, 5 or percent but even then like even if it was the strength five warrior i wouldn't have appalled it probably because i'd still be pretty confident i was going to win you know like at that at this situation he was in yeah you can be my wingman anytime oh nolicious uh, raiding with a party of 25 hello nolicious viewers welcome uh, to this game mm. which is nearly the end and it's dedicated to our viewers in djibouti <laughs> it's a great name, isn't it, Djibouti? <laughs> oh, yes. Um, no all the dwarves yet. No, hello, Nolly. Thank you very much for the raid. Um, but, you know, that, that was a game. Um, <laughs> kind of two ropey teams, but... Uh... Well, the question of the game was, will uh, Claw Mighty fire this game? And the answer is yes. <laughs> yeah. And not only the Claw Mighty. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that was a bit of a dicing. Um, a bit of a dicing for Mongo. There you go. The carnage on the Tomb Guardians, maybe uh, I still go that it was a little lesser for putting them on the line. You know, yeah. versus a team with strength four players and horns players. 
Yeah, maybe. But uh, other than that, it's been a terrible, terrible uh, dice uh, for uh, Moongloom. Beautiful dice for Misho. I'm very sure Misho doesn't have any problem with the dice of this game. <laughs> yeah. Not a Magnum PI. Oh, uh, oh my god! <laughs> Finish on a dub skulls. <laughs> Kill your own Doom Guardian as a testament for the team. <laughs> Nolly. I've never seen you not dice anyone, Nolly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. well, I've seen Nolly. I've seen Nolly not picking a string. Ooh. Ooh. Badly hurt. No, nothing. Badly hurt. Eh? Not picking a string eighth on a roller dwarf. Yeah, disgusting. <laughs> Terrible choices were made. <laughs> ah yes, farming the pass for open wonderful. Well, there you go. That was it, wasn't it? There were some dice were all there. Um, yes, yes. Commiserations to Mongloom and congratulations to Missa. And I thank mean, you. six armor breaks, yes. Yeah, Sorry. Brutal, brutal. Six armor breaks to 16 in April. <laughs> brutal, brutal dice. Uh, thank you very much. Find me a glorious having you back in the booth again. Oh, glorious to be back here for another season of the CCL Cup. Woo! And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. Stay fantastic, especially if you are that the woman from Monaco. <laughs> Still waiting. <laughs> Little thinking about you, pretty. <laughs> <laughs>